we're always very proud to see that you're traveling all over the world with your music because for us at Golden West, we feel like we're a part of that. Totally. So how about just share a bit about uh, going back in history, your connection with Golden West and how that came to be? You know, Elmer started was with me right from the start from mine and Lauren's first albums. I know he helped sponsor. And then I remember my mom once I was studying in Vancouver at the time and she says, uh, Golden West is looking for projects for the 50th anniversary. And I remember I sent letter, uh, a letter to Elmer and I said, would you be interested in commissioning a Mennonite violin concerto? Because there had been a piano, a piano Mennonite, Mennonite piano concerto. Mm -hmm. And I got, I remember getting that letter. I was in a practice room and he said he would be, he would love to do that. And so that was one of the big collaborations. You know, we did that with the Winnipeg Symphony. We made a CD of that. And that was just, that was amazing. Yeah. And, and um, Elmer has just been such a supportive person in my career and really helped build my entire career. So I am so grateful to Golden West. And they continue to be with my new album, Plum Cooley, My Home. Elmer supported it. And I played at his Golden West Christmas banquet. And I look forward to playing tonight at the 60th anniversary. I'm so proud of him and proud of the company for everything they've done and how they support Manitoba artists. It's incredible. Yes, absolutely. And uh, I mean, names like Steve Bell, Rosemary, totally. your, your name, all are affiliated with Golden West. So when you go somewhere to play and you know you have Golden West written on your album, yeah. do you feel like almost like you're a representative of the company? Absolutely. Totally. And it's, yeah, it's, there's not a lot of companies that have had that longevity either, right? And it's just, it's so nice that they've kept their headquarters in, in rural Manitoba as well. And just all the people that work with the company are so nice. And it, it does feel like a big family that just kind of helps each other. And, and you know, they've been talking about my upcoming tour. And, and just every time I come to town, you guys interview me. And it just, it keeps people in the loop. And you can't, you can't build a, a career without that. Really, yes. you know? Well, it's actually a perfect fit because you are someone who's very connected online through social media. And so in a sense, us being a media company at Golden West, yeah. we also keep you connected to listeners who may not be online. Totally. So yeah, it's kind of nice. Sometimes it's a diff different demographic as well. It's exactly right. Yeah. And um, I really have just such fondness in my heart for Golden West and just am so appreciative of what they've done. Excellent. Anything else that you'd like to say regarding the 60th anniversary of Golden Congratulations. West? Congratulations! It's amazing! <laughs> awesome! <laughs> Thanks very much. So you're back in Manitoba now and about to embark on the Have a Little Faith tour. Uh, does it officially start in Manitoba or has it, it begun already? No, it starts tomorrow. Um, our first show is in Brandon at Lady of the Lakes, then Bueller Hall March 18th, and then the 19th in Winnipeg at Park Theatre. Then we go to Saskatoon, Knox United. Then we go to Regina, then Calgary, then Kamloops, Penticton, West Vancouver, Abbotsford. Excellent. And, and yeah. special guests along the way. Yes, we have Ray St. Germain in um, Bueller Hall and in Winnipeg and Leon Leon Treaties in Calgary and... Um, and Warren Dean Flanders in Abbotsford and in West Vancouver. And, yeah, it's 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 a huge undertaking, but very excited. First time to tour like this. My parents are driving one vehicle. Grace and Orlando Suco are driving another, and we have a six-piece wow. bluegrass band going across <laughs> the country. I don't know, but you know, I I was thinking about it yesterday, and the whole it's it's a little scary venture because to do all this and not know it, being in some of the cities for the first time, not knowing if you're going to fill seats and stuff like that. And and I was I just was telling you, Jamie, but I'll tell everyone else, you know, I was talking to my dad about just the concerns about it all and uh, financially and stuff like that. And, and he just said, he says, it's no different than me putting seed in the ground and not knowing if anything is going to come up. He says, pray about it and have a little faith. And I was like, you know, it's so fitting because the tour is called Have a Little Faith. And I was thinking about it yesterday, and I was thinking, you know, how can I make this extra special? So what I, I decided yesterday I'm going to do is along the way I'm going to, through social media and other networks, I'm going to try and ask people how I can touch someone in there, if I can go surprise someone along the way and do little acts of, random acts of kindness. And so today we're going to actually go to um, Winkler Elementary. Oh. Darlene Dirksen has been playing my music video all week there, and so we're going to go surprise the kids there and That's give some exciting. tickets and some CDs. Yeah, So we're going to try and do a lot of things like that. So if anyone has requests along the way, let us know, and um, I'd be happy to go and try and make someone's day through music. So Absolutely. it's going to be fun. Well, thank you so much for sharing about that tour. Thank Is there you. anything else that you would like to talk about? Ah, uh, you know, just the the whole journey with this album has been interesting. I got some interesting calls this last week. I'm going to I'm going to be playing um, featured at the leadership convention, conservative leadership convention in May in Toronto. 
and going to be on 100 Huntley, which I'm really excited about. Oh. I'm going to share, the, have a little faith song, and I'm um, going to talk about the miracle of my violin being returned and stuff like that. So great things are happening. Wonderful. So, yeah. Thank well, you for all of your support.